1970s Rochester. Things were beginning to change a little bit. It wasn't like it was back in the 50s. We still had somewhat of a downtown with some stores. We had a place called Midtown that grew up into Rochester. And Midtown started getting its own identity. They had a monorail and it was nice around Christmas time. The kids got to ride the monorail, but it wasn't like back in the 50s. Malls were shooting up in all the suburbs. The suburbs was knocking the city for a loop. People were moving out of the city. People were moving out into the suburbs where it was a little bit safer. There wasn't as much crime. There was starting to get crime in the city. Uh, you had to watch yourself, you know, and uh, you'd walk around and people would start bothering you downtown and people got away from that. They, they, they didn't want to go where they had a fear for their life and worry about stuff. So these malls were starting to be a new wave in the city of Rochester. Rochester was changing. Uh, downtown, we used to have along the Genesee River, a place called Front Street. And you could walk around down there and uh, there was a lot of nice stores. You can get fresh, fresh produce like chickens and different types of meats and everything. Well, now we got places like it's Skips, which we didn't have back then. I mean, you, you got Trianos like on uh, Stone Road, uh, different meat markets. They did away with Front Street. It's not even there no more. There's a hotel there. Uh, but uh, downtown sure has changed. It's all like maybe business offices now, and it's not a place to go. They knocked down all the theaters, and they had some beautiful theaters. Oh, God, you wouldn't believe how nice it was. They had one called the RKO Palace. You'd walk in the entrance, and you probably had to walk 100, 150 feet before you'd come to where the seats were to see the show. And they had chandeliers and beautiful carpet. And the bathrooms were all marble. And it was beautiful. But all those theaters, and then you had the Paramount Theater, the Lowe's Theater, uh, the Regent. And then we had one on South Avenue called the Embassy. And that was burlesque. It had regular movies. But then at 8 o'clock, they had burlesque with all these sharp-looking girls. I mean, it, it wasn't suggestive like X-rated movies, but it was sexy. It was, and these girls could really dance. And, and then another place we used to go, we used to go to Buffalo, to the Palace. That was even better than the Embassy. And they used to have these comedians and these girls, and they were so funny, and it, it was very, very, very nice. They left your mind to imagine whatever you wanted to, to imagine watching, you know, this stuff going on. It was a lot of fun.